All right, what's up guys? Um, I'm gonna show you as quickly as possible how to root the LG G2, which I have right here. I just did a video on how to restore back to factory settings. So um, as you can see, developer option is, always, is already visible on this phone. If it's not there on your phone, go into about phone, scroll down to software information, and see build number. Tap build number a whole bunch of times. Mine says no need, you're already a developer. You gotta tap that build number eight times to unlock developer options. So once you unlock developer options, you wanna open it up and you wanna check this box next to USB debugging. Hit yes. And make sure that you have developer options on. USB, USB debugging checked. And download the file that's in the description. Now, the file that's in the description is this. It's called IO Root 11. I've already right clicked, selected extract here, and all of these files are going to pop up once you hit extract here. Okay? So, what you need to do, you need to take your USB cable, plug in your USB cable. The USB cable is on and plugged in. I'm going to select MediaSync MTP from the list. Now you want to go here and you want to double click the file that is called root. It might be called root.bat or just root, but you want to double click that. Then when this pops up, hit run. And this is what you'll see. Easy root for LG G2. Um, you just want to hit any key to continue. Hold on. All right. You want to just hit any key to continue. It'll look for the device. Oh, you may have to um, on the phone. It's gonna say computers RSA blah blah blah. Hit OK. It'll find the device. Now it's gonna tell you. Please unplug USB, go to developer options, disable USB debugging, re-enable it, and then replug in the USB. So we're going to unplug the USB. We're going to go back into settings. We're going to go into developer options, disable USB debugging, re-enable USB debugging, hit yes. Make sure dev options is still on, exit out, and then reconnect the USB cable. USB is reconnected. Then, now this is going to do, to uh, void your warranty, and it's also going to trigger a root count on your G2. This may be possible to remove the root count later on. It, uh, as far as I know, it's not right now. It, it already may be re, re, uh, unbreaking. It may untrigger that root count. I'm not actually sure, but I have to say that this is going to void your warranty. It, it's going to set that root checker um, to 1, so LG will be able to tell that you rooted your phone. But somebody will probably fix that in the uh, near future, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. So press any key to continue. We're going to do that. It's going to say waiting for device. Oh, we have to do what we did before. No, maybe not. Let's try to change the, um... Alright, now it's allowing... I changed the, um... Oh, I think I hit cancel by accident. Let's unplug USB. Replug it. Now we're going to hit OK on this. There we go. Now it's going to say, if you don't want to invalidate your warranty, press Control C to stop this script. You'll have ADB, blah, blah, blah. To root the phone, you want to hit another any key again. There we go. It says, please check the above for any errors. 
there are no errors. Installing super user worked. Success. Press any key, blah, blah, blah. Press any key to continue again. And the program will close. Now we go back over to the phone. Let's go into apps. Let's see if super user is in there. And there it is. Super user. So that's, that's that. Phone's rooted. Once you have super user, you are rooted. So that's that. That's how you root your LG G2. Just make sure that you, um, if you're having problems, if it says waiting for device for a while, change the USB connection type from MTP to charge only, and then select uh, OK to allow the connection via USB debugging, and you're good to go. That's it. Rooted the LG G2 in under five minutes. Sworn Leader signing out.